Hello everyone, welcome back to the cottage. I'm Shan with Rosemary Cottage Girls and today we're going to show you how to skim your whole milk. So this is very fresh whole milk fried straight from a local farm and we're going to be using this to skim cream. Alright, so this has already been filtered. It is nice and cold. We are going to pour this into a, something that we can actually get a ladle into to skim off our cream. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump this in a clean, sterile glass jar. Now we're going to let this just sit. The cream line is going to eventually come back to the surface where we can actually skim it off. We're going to cover this with either a plastic wrap or a parchment. If you have a lid for your gallon jar, you can use that too. Um, we're going to stick it back in the fridge for a couple hours, and then we'll be back to um, actually get our yummy cream off. You can also do this separation of cream using a drink dispenser and open the lever up and pour off the milk off the bottom of your cream and then you'll have just cream at the top and you can pour that into a smaller container. We're using cow milk so this is going to have a nice size cream line on it where our goat milk is going to be significantly smaller cream lines. But either way this will work for whatever type of milk you have. Another way to skim your cream is to actually just pour it off if it's in a gallon such as this. Just pour it off into a jar. This is not the most effective way to do this, but if I'm a hurry, in a hurry, rather, um, it is effective to get it off quickly. And you just pour it off and then put it back in the fridge. Um, as always, when you're working with milk, you want to make sure that your storage vessels are very sterile and that you have a way to protect them from culturing in your fridge or taking on smells or yucky things that might be in your fridge. So make sure you make everything lid it, have a lid and don't leave it open um, and keep it really cold. Okay, so I ended up leaving this overnight just so that cream had a good chance to separate. Now we're just going to take a ladle and ladle it off the top of our milk. You can see it's much thicker when you're pouring it than the actual cream milk. And if you're doing cow milk, it's going to be a quite yellow tinted to the very white milk. Goat milk, I found that it stays pretty white, but with the cow milk, it is pretty easy to separate. And you're just going to skim until you can see the waves of cream in your milk line. And then I just stop there. You can keep going until you get most of it, but I find getting to that point usually suits our needs. And our cream line for this gallon is right here. So we got a ways to go. Your cream line is going to vary from individual cow and breed and honestly where you get it, if they're pre-skimming it or whatever. There we go. Apparently I cannot talk and concentrate at the same time. Alright, you can see the difference here where I plunged it and it broke through to the milk line. There are actual waves of cream right here and here where the milk line is underneath that. I'm going to go ahead and pull it anyway. And the thinner your milk uh, cream line gets, the lighter you're going to want to put your ladle in so it'll just skim the top edge. I don't know if you can see that but at this level you can see a little bit of milk is coming in but a significant amount of cream is still there. And you'll begin to see patches where the cream line is open and the milk is coming through. We really prefer our firm fresh milk to buying whipping cream or heavy cream at the store. Just because there's not as many additives, and honestly, it's delicious.
You may find that at the bottom of your cream jar there is a little milk wine, but that's alright. It's going to taste just as good in our coffee or whatever else that we need our cream for. From here we can go ahead and make sour cream or butter. Uh, we can even go ahead and make ice cream if we wanted. There we go. I think that's just about good enough. There's still a little bit of cream in there, but I'm okay with that. And that's it. That's really easy to get your cream off of your milk and have delicious fresh cream. We're going to put a lid on this and keep it nice and sealed and then store it in our fridge so it stays nice and cold. And you're going to want to use it kind of fast because this is raw milk or fresh milk. Um, but if it starts to sour, you can go ahead and I find that makes delicious butter as it gets a stronger taste to it. Um, but your preference. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, comment below. Let us know what you thought and if you're going to try these. Um, which method's your favorite? And if you want to see more content like that, subscribe. I think I mentioned this before, but if I didn't, the description has tons of links and resources for you. So make sure you check that out before you go. And we'll see you next time at the cottage.